Which is a family of 51 million Baptists across 130 countries. And it represents 176,000 Baptist churches. So you are part of a very big family. And it is a great joy for me to travel the world and to meet family like you. And I am grateful to your pastor for the opportunity to share God's word with you today. So today I want to ask you a question. What do you see? If you're like me, you need glasses to be able to see. If I were to take off my glasses, I can't see how beautiful you are anymore. And a few months ago, I have a daughter and I had taken her to the doctor. Uh, and while they were doing the checkup, they tested her vision. So they asked her to cover one eye and to read the letters that were on the wall. And it became clear really quickly that she could not see what was on the wall. Oh, But if she covered the other eye, she was able to read. And so I asked her at school, have you been able to see what's on the board? And she said, yes, I can, I can read what's on the board. And I said, well, how come you couldn't read today when the doctor asked you to read? And she said, no one's ever asked me to read with one eye before. And today, I would say that sometimes we can't see the world fully because we're just trying to see with one eye. But when we ask for Christ to help us see as he sees, we can truly see the world. And so today we want to study from the Gospel of Luke chapter 7. And we will have the opportunity to see as Jesus sees. So we will read the entire story because the whole story is important. Uh, so I'll invite you to read verses 36 through 50. So Tumlet Parogis Song Atiang Asimitu Sonok Shemika 
Jesu cu awa fei rol e dinga cu na tau, cu i kua nun suoli anung minu nau pak harak um. Cu nu in Jesu cu frasi pa ina rol e ding ti at hei tika, ala bas ta ti mi lungi tuak mi tol pak hadik jim mui arak kengi. Jesu dung lam ake rama ding tar hatin, atapi amit li in Jesu i ke cu atlak ter ruang a atyar. Cu le Jesu i ke cu asamin anot huli anam nu a jim mui atoy. Cuma itu frasi pahin amu tika acin lungten hipa hi profet tak tak asia cun atam rautu nunau nuhi zawasiti athay dingi jengwek nunsan sualin anung tika athay ding tia arwat Yesuin Simon hena cun Simon tu kalau sim dumi um tia ti Simonin siapa isimo he tia ati Yesuin tangka cuy tu pa nenek sin tangka cuy tu mi panian um pakat pahin nun tangka zanga cuy dang pakatin som nga cuy an panhin an sam thai lo ve ve chuwa nga an panhin a ol chutei panhi la ka zau devin sau tangka choi tu chu an du dot deu ding ti ati simonin tangka tam deu a ol mi pa in a du dot deu ding ti karuat ti ati chutei ka ji suin adik asi chule nu nau nu lama a her nu a simon hena chun hi nu nau nu hi nam hu mo na in songa karung lu ti nangin ka ke khol na ka te dai pelo asana ni nu in ka ke chu amit thli na kholi asamin anot hul ase nang chun nam na kin rak huak lo asana in hinu chun karathen ve te in chat lavin ka ke anamase nang chun kalui chul ding a ol fiak e pelo asana in ani chun ka ke i ji mu ka ke ji mu in atoi se kalau sim amidu dot nak tum pi alang termi hin Asal nak tampi cuk ngai tiem asal zauti ka alang terasim sekal sela asal nak mal telong ngai tiem asal micun dudot nak mal telong alang terbesi tiat ti cule Yesus inu naunun he na nasal nak pol cuk ngai tiem asal zauti tiat ti roll e nak ceboy atau tu mendang pol cun ancin long tein sual nak man atak sak teh tu hipa hi zauvek mi sawasi tiat antio asal nak inji Yesus inu naunun cu nasum nakin Laurun suak zau nangam ten batlungo tia ati. This is the word of God for the people of God. Patiyan minung po ranga hihi, patiyan ni tongkam asih. So we see in the story that Jesus has been invited to the home of Simon the Pharisee. Frasi Simon ina jisoo cho zan re e dingin soma si tu himi tuan tua alang asih. And so they have sat down for a meal where they would be seated low to the ground at a table. Caboy kaya nga antaw zan rey dingin antim to o. And a woman enters into the space. Cuy muna chun zan rey na muna chun nunaw nu pakat abong ludwe. But she did not have an invitation. Aso nang cumi nu chun zan rey tlang dingin som mi arak silaw. Som nak sa adong lang. This would have been scandalous for her to come uninvited. Himi zan rey tlang na ka som lo piin himi nu hi arak rave siti ka tuan tu sunga kan mo. Especially because people in the community thought she had a bad reputation. Yang ruang atile au umna tayin wai minung polin himi nu hi mi talaw si mi suol si tia an ruang ruang si an ruang mi si. But she heard Jesus would be there. So na in chumi nu ina tay mi su Simon ina hin ji su au umding ti ka fiang ten rak tay. And she was determined to be wherever Jesus was. Cerong ah Yesus kri koy tok mana om kalau sila kau um wedding timi ruak nak sung piat set ka tate in anesi. So as she enters the space, everyone stares. So teka in sunga bunglu lewete in in sung um tumi mua mua ka an mang bang an zau. And I'm sure there were plenty of whispers in the room. Cui nu nau nu bunglu lewete in kan sunga kin pun muk mau pun sup sau. Oh timur mau tampil lang ding tim karuat. But she doesn't just enter the space quietly and stand at a distance. Asa chumay nu ka in swa bong lu tika dahi te na lut men lau chile mun lai sin ta a chuan men lau a zau men lau jesu. She doesn't want to just be in the space with Jesus. She wants to be next to Jesus. In swa a jesu um na a kan um men sa lavin jesu ki ang rao ri um kadu chute chumay nu in. And so she is so overcome with love for him that she begins to weep. So tika jesu ki ang um dingin du nak anayi Jesus yang umdingin azam. And she is crying so greatly that the tears are covering his feet. So tika atap nasa atap nasa i Jesus yang itu atap nak mithi in tiar terdes. And then she lets her hair down, which would have also been very scandalous in that day. Oh, so le amithi aluang mi itu asamin anuli Jesus yang itu atap mi amithi polka nak nul sakral. 
Then she begins to dry his feet with her hair. So then she so she so rowding in a long me amit li ka rowding in a hot sack a sam rowding in. So the people that were staring are definitely staring now. So the ka chun so in sum um me pol chun ta te in chum me no ka an zau an clear til um me ka chang me ka an zau ra. And then she takes this alabaster jar and begins to anoint Jesus. So no a alabaster bomb alaki Jesu atoy ani. And in that day, it wasn't something that you could open and close. You often had to cut the top and pour out all that it contained. So I alabasta bom ka afsin aongi malatetan atoy mensalo za atero rin palang sungi umi ka atoy atoy huha rauri kasi. So she brought the most valuable thing that she had and gave it all to Jesus. Ane mi mo mo laki aman na kung big mi ka akeni aongi Jesus hanga peks. It was an extravagant display of love. Jesus Christ ang asyang tungo ng dot na anay timi lang tanga atum sa mis. But the people did not see it as an extravagant display of love. Asina in in kan sungi aum mi polin til anhu fiang lau mi um anhu thay lau mi um. Simon the Pharisee says this man must not be a prophet. So teka frasi mi Simon Jun he chila chang mi moral to si so he prophet ngay ngay sila uding ng tiro anak sin lunga um. If he knew what kind of woman was touching him, he wouldn't allow it. He may know his young vet si ti afeng si Jun at si Jun he tin dai ro mi ka adu la uding alat kan la uding mi si ti aruat. But scripture says he did not say those words out loud. He only thought them to himself. So it chil Paul he akay na tong suo mi josila u at sin lunga aruat mi long si. And perhaps we have had a similar situation. Perhaps you've seen someone enter this space and thought, I don't know about this person. I don't know if they're the kind of person that should be here. But Jesus knew what Simon was thinking. Asanan Simon ni ruo mi ka Jesus na rak thay chute. For the mothers in the room, you can relate because you often know what your children are thinking. Nu din mo nin chun kan fate po in sungat um kan in sung um mi kan fate po jangan ruo jangan du ti mi he an tong lao si kalle kan thay thay ding nu tam pinis. So you can speak truth into their life even before they have spoken. Chuo nga an tong lan mane sin jiang si an dun na kat hila chang ti mi voi tam pi kan sin chia thay mi le an hene kan del chia thay mi um an tong lao nan kan thay kan fa le ka. And Jesus begins to speak truth to Simon. Chuo nga Jesus in Simon he na tong atok. He asks Simon a question. He says, "Do you see this woman?" Simon he na tua sur he mi nu he na mu mo. Of course, Simon had seen her. But he was only seeing with one perspective. He was only seeing her through the lens of sin. He was only seeing her for her past and not for her present. He was not seeing her as Jesus saw her. Jesus kri amu vekin Simonin arak mula. And so Jesus says, from the moment I enter this place, she has shown love to me. Tuta ka Jesus in Simon hena na in sungi kalung runglu levete in himinu in du dot na kan hena alang terasi dia ati. He said, Simon, you didn't wash my feet, but she has. Simon, nang chun ka kain kol saklaw asanan hinu chun ikol saksi. You did not kiss me when I entered, but she has kissed me. In sung karong luti ka nang chun nam nak thon inhuok lao asanan himi nu hin nam nak thon inhuok asi. You did not anoint my head with oil, but she has anointed me. Kalur siya ka chilao asanan in himi nu hin siya iti asi. And he tells them a parable about two people that have been forgiven an amount of money. One owed a larger amount, one owed a smaller amount. And Jesus asked Simon in this story, who has loved the most? 
Jesus and Simon hena chui asim mi thon thu ta thim nak songa zawin so du dot nak tum son na nei tia asun Both had been forgiven but who demonstrated greater love An pan hin ngai dam an si ve ve an lei ba kha asun an zawin so du dot nak tum son an lang ter And Simon can hardly bring himself to answer Na ka Simon in all har sa lo ten ol ten a phi kha pek Because Jesus has just presented him with an option in which the woman has done the better deed than he has. Jesus in ta thimna asim tika an ama Simon tu mi na na kan himi nu na nu in atu mi atum son ana sa son timi kha athon thua asim mi ta thimna ka alang der. How could he who was religious and perceived well in the community be compared with this sinful woman? Jim tin so an mai biak na ka azum zet mi le hotel foi tu asina in nu na sual thon ata thim thei. So he tries to answer the question and says, "Well, I suppose the one who was forgiven more." So leave it. Then Simon Sun, Jesus said, "Tim na asim na sang kathay tika apita te in apek lau live." And Jesus says, "Yes, you have spoken rightly." Simon na simi hi adikasi tam deo ol asimi in do do nak tum deo alang ter deng si tia asim. And he's been in this conversation with Simon, but now he turns to the woman. Simon Thorn and Birok Naka Solitua Chunu now Nula Mahoi Kang. And he says to her, Your sins have been forgiven. So take out the Suin Chunu Hena, Nasual Nakol, Nai Tiam Asizo, Tia Ate. And so we see in the story that because of Jesus, the woman was seen with love. Jesu Kri Himiton Tua, Jesu Kin, Nuna Noka, do not knock on Azo, Timi Kanmo. Perhaps everyone else in the room had seen her through the eyes of judgment. Yet Jesus looks and truly sees her. He sees beyond what she is to what she can be. Amai si nak lengin si suin amu saki, cun amai si teh nak tu nak si suin cumi nu ka fiangkan amu se. But not only did Jesus see her, Jesus saved her. Jesus kerin cumi nu amu ti long asilavi arun asih arun dam. Jesus says to the woman, your faith has saved you. Cuti ka nu nau nu he na Jesus cun nazum nakin alau arun dam alau arun sok asih ti ati. And because of Jesus, this woman was saved through her faith. Jesus created her. So it no now no to assume that thing in random. And indeed, it took much faith for her to enter into this place and to give this extravagant gift of love to Jesus. In so a wrong look, thing in let Jesus. It's a anek me pek thing in no now no. It's a thas ang tempi suatul zom nak tempi raktu. But she did not allow the circumstances around her to change. How she demonstrated her love for Jesus. Jesus created her. I do not knock long till the end. Tum ta na ane mi ka akiyang ka bawrot tule lain akam thailawse. Ateng tang lam thailawse. Amen. In my role, I have the opportunity to to meet many women and to hear their stories. Kimi 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 sanga kimi sanga kimi tuan tu tuan pe paro inu na tam pi kamu mi an umve. Two years ago, when we started to hear the news that an invasion of Ukraine was likely, when we found out that a war was likely to happen in Ukraine. Liam Chia Kum Thong Pho Ma Khan Ukraine Kiang Kap Ukraine Rama Ral Arak Thau. As we reached out to one of our women's leaders there. Chu Tho Ka Kan Nu Nao Thoi Tu Rek Khat Pol Kan Nei Ukraine. And we asked how we could pray for her. And she had three daughters who had actually moved to the United States. And they had spoken to her and to their father and said, please come to the U.S. Auntie. But our friend there in Ukraine is married to a pastor, and the two of them said, "We cannot leave our people." Asuna in Ukraine can roll no cho apasal ka pasta si an fale pol he na yung kalle kan ram kan tan thailo hito ka kan minung pol kan tan san thailo si di anti an fale pol in US rave anti tiga. So she said, "Even if a war comes, no matter what you hear, know that we will serve the Lord." Yung vikin Ukraine in ralta umhan se. 
boy pahi hito ki sin kan rian ding si tia antu Within just 24 hours of having that call I woke up to the news that Ukraine was being bombed O chumin hu a nai kul hun li chumin hu a Ukraine chu bomin an bomin atlak bomin an kap ralin an rakap si ti mi thu thang kan dong and in particular the city in which this friend lived so i reached out immediately to see if she was safe and she responded and said many of the church members were in the church basement and they could feel the walls shaking mm. But she said, don't worry, we will continue to serve the Lord no matter what. The next day was a Sunday and I got up and was getting ready to go to church. And I heard a ding in the message on my phone. And so I opened it and I saw that it was a message from my friend in Ukraine. She had sent me a video and said in the message, some brave souls have gathered for worship today. We are worshiping the Lord with bombs as our accompaniment. And while they were singing in a different language, I could recognize the song. The song they were singing was the hymn Count Your Blessings. That is a kind of faith that is extravagant. So we din mun ka laki na mui fu sero ti mi la sak thai mi chu zumna men men asila zumna ana sizat mi se. That is a love for the Lord that is not dependent upon circumstances. Kien ka pari athumalo mi boi pai sange an nei mi du do nak tum zet ase. That is a no matter what faith. Jiang khal se se la ka zum thau thau ding ti mi zumna ve ka se khal yak zumna se. And that is what we are also called to live. And we see in the story, not only does Jesus see her and save her, he sends her in peace. If there is anything the world needs today, it's peace. We have been told that our feet should be fitted with the readiness that comes from the gospel of peace. Everywhere your feet take you, are you taking the peace of God with you? Wherever the Lord sends you, are you seeing people the way he does? Because today I want to leave you with this encouragement. Just as Jesus saw the woman, Jesus sees you. He sees beyond what you are to what you can be. Just as the Lord saved this woman, he wants to save you. And he wants to save the world around us. For he sees beyond the limits of the world and brings heaven to earth. And just as Jesus sent her, he sends you.
Jesu kain chumi nu atha vek nang khal alau tha sin. To go into the world with the gift of peace. Lelung tu na dai na tu thang tha phuang dinga Jesu in alau tha sin. Several months ago I had the opportunity to serve at the United Nations. The United Nations you you in a na ton ding in chan aliam chiam lai khan a khun ji karang ngave. Every year they host an event called the Commission on the Status of Women. Commission? Commission for Women. A uh, Commission for Women timi kum tin ten an nei theo. A event pakhat khat an nak nei theo an tua theo. So there were over 10,000 leaders from all over the world. Nung thong ra kieng kap lai fui tu leilong tum hun tin kimi sin kan da sok kom theo. And I was part of a group that was leading chapel services across the street each morning. Chal ni? Uh, leading chapel services. Oh, oh, okay. Jing ten te in chapel service, but yan tang tat biak kom nak te, shui ding in, zan karang ngak teo si. And so we were setting up one evening, and when I was walking back to the hotel, I saw a young woman seated on the ground. Kan te te ka hotel lam panin katung sali, so na chun, leilungi atau mi, no nao no te kap nun. And she was holding a cardboard sign. Cha te akengi. And the sign said, I'm not homeless. I am on a hunger strike. Sang a sa akin mi atun in nilo kasi lao asina in real ron na kin real ron. Yes. And I said, may I ask why you're on a hunger strike? So di ka atun asu di yung anso real ron na atun alau ne yung anso na real ron tia kasu. And she said yes, and I said, can I sit down with you? So lan nhen na katau thay pay mo tia kasu sal. Because I I want to hear what you have to say. Jiang rong a tele jiang in sim ding ti thay kadu rong a sin. So she let me sit down. Tele chu kon in pek a keng te katau tau ding in. And she said, I am here because there is so much that is broken in the world. Jiang rong a tia si le jiang rong a himi cha ka keng tia si a chun lay lung tu na mi tam pi har san na atong mi an ume. There is war, there is hunger. Ril ron na ka um, ral do na ka um. And no one is doing anything about it. Asina in tumi til polruang a zau kalin siyang man andak tu alau di kakap mo di. And so I said, well, you're here on a good week because there are leaders from all around the world trying to do something about the needs. Hito kay natau tui zara hibok natau ker ker hi natifu tong siyang rong a tele leilong tun mun tam pi sin shuay tu pol leilong tun ni tul mi til pakakat tu adek kan ton komok chan zar asi diya kasim. And she said something that was really powerful to me. She said, when I look at the world now, all that's left inside me are screams. And this, this broke my heart. I could feel my eyes filling up with tears. Kamida mitlia um mitlia luang. For someone so young to have so little hope. So vek luki anahak minu nao nu in leilong tun thanga ruo san na anek mi kamu tega kamitlia luang si. So we had a very long conversation that evening. So mi zan lama chun rai zet kan biawa so mi nu thon. And I shared my faith with her. Kazum nak to kal anhe na kathom ni. And one of the things that I shared was that the reason that I know that Jesus is real in my life is because he gives me peace. That yes, I see war, I see hunger, I see the needs. But I also see God doing miraculous things. And so we talked about languages and how words are different in different languages. And I asked her if she was familiar with the word shalom in Hebrew. That that word doesn't just mean peace. That when someone greets you or leaves you with the word shalom. 
But they are saying, I want God's wholeness for your whole life. Yes, yes, that you would know not just peace in your mind, but peace in your body and your spirit. And so when it was time to go, I said, I would love for you to come to the church service that we're leading tomorrow. She said, I'll think about it. But as I stood up, she said, well, I have something to say to you. She said, Shalom. Shalom. And I said the same to her. The next morning, as I was walking to the church service, she was still there. And I said, if you've had a little time to think about it, would you like to come with me to the service? And she said, yes. So throughout that week, I had the opportunity just to have conversations and to spend time with her. And I don't know what God's future is for her. But I know that God sees her. I know that God wants to save her. And I know that God wants to send her out in peace. So my dear sisters and brothers, what do you see when you look at the world? Who do you see? Who needs the message of peace that you have? So when you leave here this day and you go throughout this week, who do you need to share the gift of peace with? Who do you need to see through the eyes of Christ? Who do you need to see in your world? Because first you have to see yourself the way Christ sees you. And when we do that, we can only respond as the woman did in Luke. To take the most extravagant gift we have. That's our lives. And give them to Christ. Let me pray for us. Lord Jesus, we are so thankful that you see us. Lord Jesus, we're so thankful you save us. Lord Jesus, we're so thankful you send us in peace. And so I pray today that as we see the way you love us, that we would give our lives and love back to you. And that you would send us out with your eyes to see the world as you see. So even now, God, put someone's name in our hearts and minds. And 
And may you send us in peace into their lives this week. So that we might be people that serve you extravagantly. That we might be people that serve you extravagantly. So that we might be people that serve you extravagantly. No matter what. Ziang kal kiang man sela. No matter what may come. Ziang kal kan dun na kara kiang man sela. All of our love for all of our life. For you are worthy. Nang may nhen kan lau pek siang ati le nang chu. For you are good. Chu mi pot chau dinga na phua siang. And today we honor you. Dunia nang ma upat nak kan lau pek. And we pray these things in the name of you, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Himi mua mua chu in run dam tu ji su kri minin nan he na thakan samasi. Amen and amen. Amen. Amen.